Alright, this is some pretty good stuff guys. When is the last time you see me do any room crafting? I don't even know. I I think it's been so long. But yes, 85 room crafting guys. Of course, during winter break, AFKing, like I don't have to rely on heavy AFK, so room crafting is like alright, you know, it's it's chill enough that I don't mind doing it I guess right now. Just wrapping up on a room crafting session here. I made myself Almost 6,000 blood runes. I'm at 64,000 right now. I don't really know what to do with them at the moment. I hope that for a future PVM like raid soon stuff, I will be able to use this. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. We got a spirit shield. Nice. Caught cannonball drops. Finished my first full session of court with the Elijah. 15 kills. And from this sample size, it's... A pretty noticeable difference, I definitely noticed that I use less food. On more occasions than usual, you know, have I not had to drop any more food at all. Um, which is a big sign that I'm not using as much food as I used to. So that's really good. Although I don't know exactly how much food I'm saving right now, I think, you know, with more sessions with the Elijah, I'll, I'll be able to figure out that number uh, a bit more precisely. So I would love to share more information about that. I uh, did a little bit of astral rune crafting, stock up on some astrals. I'll just show you right now. May 10,000. That's a little bit over an hour. Pretty good uh, XP rates here. It's like 30k an hour. Astral rune crafting, for what it's worth, it's actually pretty nice. You know, you get a lot for the time that you spend. And yeah, I just use these mainly for corp nowadays. But 10,000 looks clean. I uh, should be all set for like, I would say a few months at, at least with this many astrals. Alright, just got ourselves 1,000 Corp KC, and quite frankly, I'm glad I am finally done with this 1,000 Corp KC. So from this point on, I'm definitely not going to be doing Corp like daily, you know, like I did the past week or so. I'll probably do Corp maybe once or twice a week. So with the conclusion of 1,000 Corp kills, I just want to show you guys like some of the major things that I did end up getting during the 1,000. The LE was super, super unexpected, of course, because I was trying to just get 1,000. Maybe I would get a Spectral, right? But yeah, we end up getting something even better, which is, of course, really good. And uh, we got a bunch of, you know, other common Spirit Shields, and I did end up getting quite a bit of Elixirs as well. I mean, the Elixirs, you do get quite a few in the thousands, so I did get quite a few of those. I got a lot of Cannonballs. Unfortunately, stuff like cannonballs and onyx spells, they're not accurate because I've used a lot of cannonballs throughout and I've also out quite a bit of onyx spells as well. So I think I probably out like probably 4,000 onyx spells before, maybe even more. So Dragon Slayer 2 is finally out. You know, I've talked about it before on previous videos. And today, I will be doing that quest. Uh, specifically, I'm going to try to do that quest without outside resources to help me. So essentially, I'm going to try to do it blind. And uh, I've already asked some of my friends that have already done the quest. And they've told me that actually, you can do this blind. There aren't like so many crazy puzzles that you'll have to use an outside resource to help you figure out because it's too complex. So let's get right into the rewards. Once you beat the quest, you'll have access to the uh, mid skill. Mid skill has tons of cool rewards. I'm just going to name a few. Uh, the dungeon in there will have uh, green, blue, and black dragons. And it also have a shop that sells the metal shards that you can use to make dragon kite shields and dragon play bodies. Those things are coming to the game. Also, after the quest is done, mythical cape will be a reward. Mythical cape will have the uh, best in slot crush accuracy for a cape. So no other cape has crush accuracy higher than this. So this cape is going to be really useful. I can see it being really useful for Corp because, you know, you need that Dragon Warhammer spec to land as much as you can. There's the new boss, the 4th Cath boss right here. That's going to be the main uh, reason why you want to complete the quest, is to kill 4th Cath. 4th Cath is the next high level solo boss that uh, came out into the game. It drops some interesting things like Dragon Bow Necklace. Basically, if you wear it and you bear your bone, then you'll get some prayer points back. It's questionable how good it is. Also, it will drop the Skeletal Fissage. If you know what Dragon Fire Shield is, think of the Fissage as the range equivalent of a Dragon Fire Shield. So, that's what it's going to be. 
And the biggest thing I think that people will definitely want to kill this boss for is for the best in slot range cape. So this thing has a crazy bonus, 8 range accuracy for a cape. And not only that, it also has 2 range strength, which means it will not only directly affect your accuracy, it will also have a chance to give you an extra damage as well on top. After the boss comes the Rune and Adamant Dragons, which will drop parts to create the Dragon Kite Shield, the Dragon Play Body, and the Dragon Crossbow. Just to clarify, the Dragon Crossbow is not the Dragon Hunter Crossbow for raids. So if any of these post-quest rewards pique your interest, oh yeah, you know what to do. Get that quest done. And there's a lot more other things um, in this release that I didn't go over, so you want to you know look at it yourself. It's in the homepage of you know oldschool.runescape.com, so definitely check it out, guys. So at this point, I'm gonna be recording probably some of the highlights in the quest. So if you don't want to like see it just because you want to experience it, you know, fully yourself, I should be able to put a time right now that shows you where to skip to, so you can you know avoid all the spoilers. All right, I guess this quest is to uncover the secrets of dragons, like their complete origins. So I need to uncover a myth before I can earn the right to enter the guild. So that's awesome. All right, so I have to go find a lot of these map pieces. I guess the map pieces that I'm gonna be using to discover the next place to go to. And this really looks like it's gonna be a puzzle. All right, I think this is the last seven pieces. Okay. Oh, I knew it, man. I gotta complete the freaking map. Okay. Oh fuck, are you kidding me? Wow, that's all I had to do was rotate it. <laughs> but at the very least, I finally solved the puzzle. That was hard. Okay, slowly uncovering the origins of the dragons. And right now, I need Bob the Cat or Robert the Strong to get his memories back. Oh, we got one food left. Oh no! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, come on! Oh, I killed it, I killed it. Oh god, hope I don't die. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I should prepare myself better. Wow, that was crazy. So at this point in the quest, I have to unlock the door in the uh, island that I discovered, you know, doing the puzzle. And unfortunately, the door requires a key, which, you know, Robert or aka Bob the Cat knows. But yeah, it's actually split up into pieces. So I'm basically going around to the different areas right now, trying to get the pieces. So the next one, I'm on the second piece, is to... And get it in the Shajian Crypt, so it's a new area, you know, with the release of the quest. Alright. Let's do this. Jesus. Oh, nice. Got it. One of the pieces. Doors are sealed and can't be opened. Oh, there's not much fighting, man. I thought there was gonna be fighting. It's like a little puzzle. Not that hard. Okay, cool. Just gotta get two other key pieces now. One near Rukka and one in Karamja. Oh, yo, there it is. I was trying to figure out where this ancient temple was, but I'm sure this was not here before. So, I think we found it. Dang. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay, let's not fuck around and pay attention to the wall. Oh, my God. This place looks scary, but I'm excited. Oh, there we go. Found the other piece. Oh, and I get to teleport out. Awesome. One last piece, guys. This this is the boss. Hinted at for so long. Yes, I killed it. Oh, man. Alright. That was a pretty exhilarating fight. Alright, now I remember how to do this. Yeah, for sure. Gotta use Fire Wave on these things. Yep. Just like back in the Wild Gothic Sleep days. Let's see, is it on yet? Yeah, nice. It's activated again. Oh my god. It's back on old school, man. The freaking Dragon Envil. So lit. Okay. I think we can just fix it, right? Nice. Oh wait. There we go. Dragon Key is made. Alright, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a boss fight after this, but I'm prepared, man. This time, I'm gonna take it seriously, you know, bring all the gear. Let's go ahead and uh, 
unlock this door here and see what is up. Oh, finally! I have traversed through all the broken ships. Oh crap, the boss is here though! Oh my god, level 608. I hope my balls are ready for this. Let's go, me and you, mano o mano. I'm not easy to kill and then he kills me. Oh, what the fuck? I got hit a 60. Oh my god. If it touches it, yes! Only got, I got no quam bombs left. Damn. Oh, adamant dragon! I'm not ready, dude. I don't even know their mechanics. Oh, fuck! Yes, okay. Oh, Rune Dragon's probably gonna show up. Yeah, I need a bail. I don't have the food for this. <laughs> this thing is just kicking my ass. Okay, yeah, the electricity is just hurting, dude. Yes! Killed it. Oh, I can attack him now? Oh, fuck! Oh my god, my prayer got fucking disabled, dude. What the fuck? The fire trap killed me! Wow. Are you kidding me, dude? That's bullshit. Oh my god. What? That bomb hit me for 77. My, my dude. No, no, no. But the thing is, it landed on me. That's the problem. Oh, what? Okay. You dodged that. Oh! What's it doing now? Oh, I think the first part so far is the hardest. Because of those bombs. Wow, this thing is hitting so hard. God damn. Oh, the tsunami attack. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh shit. My prayer is off, too. Damn. That was scary. Where is it going? Oh, shit. Now it's melee phase? Alright, I think we got this. 1.4%. Yes! Oh, man. Uh, that was that was some tough shit, man. Oh, that was a good fight, though. That was a really good fight. Dang. Okay, I'm. I think this is the end of the quest because you know, it just says return to the Myth Guild to tell them of what happened. So, secrets that you uncovered worth more than any coin. It is an honor to welcome you into the Myth Guild. Yes. Oh man, the classic. I even had like the game sounds on the whole time. Best experience in Rune's given a while, for sure, for sure. Dragon Slayer 2 completed, access to the Myth skill, lots of good experience all around. Five quest points of course. Damn, that brings us to 262. Tears of Guthix is gonna, you know, last quite a bit longer I would assume. But yeah, we can enter the Myth skill now. Uh, maybe up here. Nice, great place to cut magic trees right there, look at that. All condensed. Ah, perfect. Wow, is that the new best place to cook food? Definitely new best place to cook food right here. Absolutely. I mean, look, it's right there. <laughs> Too good, alright, I'm definitely gonna be cooking here from now on. Okay, maybe I can find one. Yes! This world was uh, open with one. That's awesome, Mythic Cave, best in slot crush. Cape accuracy in the game, guys. That's awesome, man. Can't wait to actually go back to Krog. Now it's, you know, more exciting. But yeah, there's so much to do. You know, after this quest is done, I can now kill Forkath. I am on Blue Dragon Task, so I'm gonna go there, like, probably right away and get those drops, you know, get the Avas Assembler. And uh, when I do find some downtime, I would like to try out the Adamant and Rune Dragons as well, you know, because. It'd be interesting to see what we can get off of those dragons, so pretty excited. Yeah, it doesn't even matter if I have my run on or off. Alright, just did the first kill post quest. I thought you needed super anti-fire potions to kill it, but I guess you don't. Torso seats. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> Four cats head! Oh my god, I got it. Nice. Wow, that was so fast. I've been told you can get the head at 50kc automatically, so I actually got it early. I would like to make the Alva's Assembler. Okay, so this got 8 range bonus, 4 more than Accumulator. Uh, it's also got 2 range strength, of course, 2 more than the Accumulator. So basically, it's twice as good as the Accumulator and then some more. So The Alva's Assembler is a huge upgrade from the Accumulator and the range cape that we had. 
I will definitely be using the assembler pretty much any time I go ranging, so from now on. It should be way better than... Uh, oh, Wrath Talisman! Oh my god. Very nice. With this, I can make the Wrath Runes, but I'm certainly gonna uh, test out the Wrath Runes when I do get the chance, so... So that is 50 forecasts done, and this is day one of Dragon Slayer 2 updates. And overall, I gotta say, Fourth Cat is probably one of the more challenging bosses that we've had in recent times. If I were to use Zora as a scale in difficulty, I would rate Fourth Cat two times at least as difficult, just because of its rapid fire attack. So, yeah, some people uh, is finding it challenging, you know, to dodge that attack or attack while dodging at the same time. So yeah, it's very easy to die at that boss. I've died 7 times today in the 50 kills, so I've almost died once every 10 kills. And uh, overall, drops are okay. A lot of players were, you know, complaining about it though. And I am almost certain that this boss will be changed in one way or another because this boss has 1000 hit points. And if you're not on task, doing this boss will probably take you at least 4 minutes to kill. And a lot of people were just not happy with that, so... As I suspected, this is the second day and 4th cat did get changed quite a bit. So the first thing that they changed was his hit points. It now has 750 hit points. And another important thing is that South Amulet EI also works on this boss, which is fitting because it is an undead creature anyways. So you won't have to be on task to get competitive times. On day 1, you can actually do full damage while on rapid fire phase, but now during rapid fire phase, the damage you do to it will be significantly reduced. Which is unfortunate because I loved doing damage during the rapid fire phase, so you can't really do that much anymore. No, you were so close. Yes! Nice PR. That was a PR. Absolutely. 128, yo! Right now, so. Another Dragon Ball unfinished. Wow, they're 500k. Nice. I've gotten three of those drops so far. Okay, thank you. Oh, I just got a leak clue scroll from this boss. First one in uh, 67 kills. This might be the 100th one, I think. Oh, not even close. I was too off. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, it's not like the best. But lots of resources though, so that's good. Alright, I'm kind of bored of the other setup I was using. So we're going to go with the uh, BGS Void setup. And since, you know, Sav Amulet... Uh, works now on this boss, it should should be pretty promising. I, I don't think I will be disappointed, so. Did a bit of kills with fly range. Didn't like it so much, it was uh, too inaccurate. So I'm sure Armadil, you know, will do a better job with the BGS combo, so. We can do this. Uh, I don't know if it's a PR, but I think it should be a PR though. What do we got? 123? Damn, I PR by one second, come on. <laughs> Maybe a PR? I don't know. Oh, I PR'd! What's up? PR time! Give it to me. From 100 kills just off the D-high and the bones alone. Actually, these bones are like probably 11k now at the time of this, so... Yeah, I'll probably deduct this by another uh, a mil or something. So, it's more like 5 mil probably, just from these signature stuff. Not bad, I guess. It's not like the best money, but it's not the worst either, so... It's time to refer back to the progress sheet in the PVM section because of the major update that happened yesterday, which was Dragon Slayer 2. So with Dragon Slayer 2, Forecast came out, and the main thing I wanted to get was the Forecast head so I can get myself the best range cape in the game. And I did end up getting my first Forecast head on 17kc. It's a guaranteed drop at 50kc, but yeah, I ended up getting a total of 4, but got that on the 5th of this month. New Year's. So Forecast Head is actually the first major drop of this year for this account, which is pretty cool. And the other two drops that Forecast drops, the Bone Necklace and the Skeletal Visage, they are rather optional because they just aren't too useful at the moment. So maybe they'll become mandatory items in the future, you know. We never know, future PVM might uh, make these two items incredibly useful, but we'll see. I gotta say, Dragon Slayer 2 is probably the best quest that I've done personally in a very long time. It felt very similar 
to big quests like Wild Gothic Sleep. I loved Monkey Madness 2, the old school original Grandmaster, but honestly, Dranslayer 2 even topped that a bit more. So I'm really glad that this quest came out. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly, and I would love to see another Grandmaster in the distant future, you know, for another existing storyline, perhaps. But anyways, that's it for today's video. It's quite a lengthy one. I'm not sure how the reception is going to be for, you know, this type of video. It's a bit different for sure, but hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to the series though, and you'd like to stay up to date with shenanigans from this character, feel free to subscribe. That way you'll know exactly when the next video will come out. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching as usual. And I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care.